Team Burley MMA Buzz here with Saban Santiago, winner by second round submission. Saban, you came up very aggressive in that second round after losing a point. Did your corner tell you anything between rounds? To, uh, you know, well, you know, my corner told me to just listen to the to the judge. You know, I was getting a little hot tempered because I felt that the second time around they took the points away. It wasn't my fault. The guy kept moving his head. But of course, you know, it's the way the judges see it. But I knew in the second round, there was a lot of need to finish the fight because I knew that they were taking points from me, even if I was dominating the first two rounds. In MMA, anything can happen. So I wanted to either get a KO or, or submit the guy and get it done with. Yeah, it did look like you had your opponent hurt with strikes. Um, I wasn't sure if I saw a foul myself, but do you think that gave him kind of a chance to recover a little bit? Yes, I did. And that's why I was really upset. Um, I, he got to recover every single time, but I didn't mind because I was recovering too. And it just gave me more of an opportunity to become, come up with a new game plan, so to speak. Yeah, and you showed your well-roundedness. You hurt your opponent with strikes, but you finished him with a choke. Take us through that choke because that was a very interesting finish. Uh, well, you know, the choke was I put him against the fence. I wanted to ground and pound him. And I was going for a modified Kimura when he turned over. And when I tried to sink in the choke, he kept holding on to my glove and forearm area. So I knew it was tight, but it wasn't deep in. So what I did was... I used a modified 10 finger choke and just wrapped my other forearm around and cinched it in. And uh, once I cinched it in, I can hear him gagging for air and I just kept the pressure on. Very tricky. Is that something you train a lot? Yes, yes. It's, so it's basically a backup to a choke. If someone hands down to that choking arm, you can just slip it through and then use the wrist and then to take the fingers and wrap it around and it just cinches it real tight. It becomes a guillotine, not even an air choke, it's a blood choke. A very nice choke and you're also active duty army tell us about your background yes um i spent five years on active duty um, i'm an army ranger i'm in an infantry unit right now i do operations and human resources a uh, wonderful opportunity for me because it gives me the opportunity to spend more time with my kids and my wife um, and uh, it's, it's a great opportunity it's, it's a new thing and i'm here at home and i get to get to spend a lot of time with the family so and how'd you feel being able to fight on the army versus marines uh, it was a great honor when they approached me with it a few months ago i mean i tried to get on it last year but i was away on training so unfortunate but it's one of the best opportunities in my life um, one to do something i love to do but also represent something that i also love which is the army definitely appreciate your service anybody want to thank tonight uh yeah i want to thank my wife linda for supporting me i want to Thank my coach Daniel and Tanky. Um, you know, I want to I want to thank all the guys in my unit who helped me and supported me through this camp because it was really difficult with work and everything else. And thank you for interviewing me and giving me the opportunity so that people can meet me and meet my character. My pleasure. It's a great fight tonight. Your winner by second round tap out, Saban Santiago.